A beautiful day here in Portland, Oregon, as the Portland Timbers play host to the Vancouver Whitecaps at Providence Park. Always a sellout crowd, and today is no different. In fact, today's match has a bit of a playoff atmosphere with six games to go. Valeri, right there in the middle, leading the team with eight goals, 13 assists. He's been instrumental in this team, and he's going to be big for them in the run-in. Up front, you have Fernando Adi, who likes to lead the line, will hold up the ball, and look to get those creative midfielders involved. Crossing the trade from Chivas USA has provided a bit of experience, and they're going to need that in the run-in as he looks to provide Eric Hurtado going with the hot hand up front, coming off the bench and scoring last week. He, they're going to look for him to provide some goals. 79th all-time meeting, all competitions between the Portland Timbers and Vancouver Whitecaps is underway. Chara pressured, referee playing advantage as he finds Jorge Villafania. Hard tackle there. By Matias Lava to win it away. The league leader in tackles, sending Vancouver the other direction. That's Stephen Betashir now. Clipped in towards Hurtado. Get a volley on it. And it's a save comfortably for Ricketts. Timbers put it immediately back into play. It's Viafania on the ball. Viafania's cross. Valeri! finish that is. I was just getting ready to say that we haven't seen too much of either Diego Valerio or Pedro Morales and then there he pops up. The late run from midfield. Timing is impeccable and the left footed strike. What a finish that is. Unbelievable technique. Hits it right in his stride and Alstead has no chance on that. Great finish from Diego Valeri. Ninth goal of the season tying Max here ready for the team lead. Oh it's opening up like it was in the first half. Hybert for Fernandez. Running at Kong. Around Kong. Now goes down to the box. Hurtado has the touch to go around Ricketts. That ball's out. It's going to be given as what? Linesman hasn't said what. Hilario Grajeda hasn't signaled for anything either. Sebastian Fernandez slow to get up. The Whitecaps won two penalties, scored them both in their win in Portland back in June. It looks like it's been given as a goal kick in the end. The Whitecap bench in front of me seems to think this was a penalty, but no, he, he's playing for it there. He, he loses a little bit of control. Realize, oh, he catches his foot. That's a penalty kick. That's a penalty for you? For me, that's a penalty kick. Chara catches his tail foot as he's... As he's in stride, he's trying to get to the ball in the box. Why don't you finish your point, Stewart? Well, first of all, take it back. Valeri takes the ball. Adi running with him. Lava gave it away. Fernando Adi's onside. Fernando Adi! 2 0. Big strikers worked hard today and he deserves that goal. Caught in possession, mistake by Lava in the, in the midfield and everyone's pushed forward. Larry plays in Adi and he looks like he takes almost one too many touch there but he just gets it out of his feet. Passed out said for the goal. That one came off his shin but he manages to get his big toe on it. Puts it into the corner and he deserves a goal. He's been working so hard this second half. Leading that line for Portland so well. Timbers will continue the other way. Oh, looked like he landed awkwardly. He's back to his feet now, though. Just rolled ahead in for Nagby. Holds off Mane. Nagby has Fernando Adi looking for a second. 3-0 Portland Timbers. He does a great job of holding off Mane. Weak challenge from him, but the big man, Adi, again, 
First touch sets him up there. You see him take it across his body. Great positioning. Puts it through the legs of Osted. His movement there is fantastic. Creates that passing lane for Nagby to find him. He just peels off the center backs, opens up his body, allows him to take that touch across him. But this is as good a start as any. A 3-0 win over the Vancouver Whitecaps, and they leap back above the red line into the playoff places in the Western Conference.